time for a new Bank and Creek Tackle Kit. We got the January 2024 edition here. It's got all the lures that you need for fishing this awesome time of year. January is one of the best times to catch the biggest bass of the year. So we're out on location. We're going to show you where to use each bait in the bag and how to fish them. Lure number one out of the bag, we've got the Bomber 14A in the custom color Mighty Sexy. This is a gorgeous looking small jerk bait. We all know jerk baits are great in the winter time. This one is no exception. It's a floating model, so what you need to do is you need to cast it out. You're going to reel your line. You're going to keep that bait down a little bit, and you're just going to work it with quick pops. It's going to make this thing dart and dive. They can't resist it. The reasoning behind the Bomber 14A being picked is due to the small stature of this jerk bait. This is, matches up perfectly to dying bait fish, shad, everywhere in lakes, ponds, creeks, wherever you're going to be fishing at. In the color Mighty Sexy, this is a translucent pattern. Looks just like a threadfin shad whenever it's getting to that point in that 50, 49 degree water. And they start to die off. It looks just like it. Oh, get in here, you hog. Now that's a good pond bass right there. Lure number two we've moved on to. This is an exclusive pattern, the Natty Light and the Bandit 100. Let's toss this girl back. Oh man, thank you so much, fish. Natty Light, what this color is, this is a solid body shad imitator. It has a light blue top on it, a little yellow streak down the side, and some nice honeycomb texturing on the sides. Looks just like a cold water shad. That's why that bass couldn't handle it. That's why any pond bass out there is not going to be able to handle it. This is the perfect option to pick up if you're fishing around logs, stumps, any type of shallow cover in a pond, lake, creek. You're going to burn this thing down the bank, bounce it into stuff, and catch some good bass like that. How to fish this Bandit 100 from the bank because this is a diving lure with open treble hooks. I like to cast it out around whatever piece of cover I'm around. I keep my rod tip high when I'm fishing from the bank because I know how deep this thing is going to dive. I don't want it to just barrel off into a piece of cover and get hung up. I like to do that. I like to feel it hit something. Once it hits something, I'm going to give it a pause. I'm going to let that bait float up a little bit. You typically get your reaction bites then. That's just a couple of tips to help you fish this bait. Come on, buddy. Lure number three that you're going to pick up your fishing upon is the Yum Ned Dinger paired with a Yum Ned Jig. This is an excellent option for a January and February kit. If you need to slow down, you need to cover water, you need to tick over the tops of brush piles. Got it in the color green pumpkin blue. Excellent for stained water, for clear water. It's going to be able to cover you through any type of cover. Got that Yum Ned head. It's just a small mushroom head. Allows it to come over all types of cover bounce this thing around, drag it slow, or just park it, get your bites. For fishing this Ned Rig, you want to have it on light line. This is a 12 ounce jig head, does not weigh a lot, so you want it on something you can cast it easy. But I'm just going to cast it around basically anywhere in the pond, creek, anywhere I know there might be a piece of cover or where I once caught a fish on a reaction bait. And I'm just going to drag it super slow. Wintertime, cold water, I want everything that's bottom based to be very slow. Oh, that's a good one, Dave. Come on, buddy. Look at that. It's windy, and when it gets windy, what do you do? You pick up a lipless crankbait. We have got the quarter ounce Booyah Hard Knocker in the custom color G Finish Red Craw. This is your windy bait. If you notice it's getting really windy, hard to cast, and you're needing to cover a lot of water, tie this dude on your spinning rod or casting rod. You can chunk it a mile. You can fish it a lot of different ways. You can yo yo it off the bottom. You can fish it real slow, ticking along the bottom in a long cover, or you can do like we're doing now cast it out, burn this thing right near the top. It's got great flash from that G Finish color. Next lure in the kit is an awesome jig pairing. This is a Booyah Baby Boo jig. It's the 5 16 ounce size in 3D watermelon red. We got it paired up with a GLS snack craw. Let's put it to work. This is a super easy jig to fish. It's got a nice bullet head on it. It comes through the water easily like a swim jig and a flipping jig. But I'm just going to take it, put it on a spinning rod, cast it out into deep water, let it sink down to the bottom, and I'm going to bring it back to me with just little small pops. It's going to pop it, makes it look like a crawdad that's jumping, trying to get away for something. It's also great if you're just swimming it through grass like we've got here on the bank, or just pulling it around trees on the bottom. Next lure up has caught more fish than any other lure, stream to stream, coast to coast. 
This is the Revel Teeny Wee Crawfish in the color Nest Robber. This is the best little micro crankbait that you can possibly throw in the pre-spawn, winter time, anytime it's cold, man. This is the classic ultra finesse crankbait. You're gonna wanna put it on light line, a light action spinning rod, and it's great for a novice angler because you just cast it out, reel it back. The action is all built into it. It just has about a one to two foot depth range. It crawls over cover really well. The color Nest Robber, it's a bright red crawdad, perfect for pre-spawn fishing. Last lure we're showcasing today, we got the GLF Stealth Ball Head Jig Heads, 16th ounce, green pumpkin mat. We got paired up with that GLF Snack Craw, man. We're gonna catch them on this. This jig head's a 16th ounce, which is super light, but that is the best option that you can fish with in a pond or a creek because it gives the bait so much more action, it gives it a realistic look under the water because with even the barely smallest movement you make of your rod tip, that thing is gonna dance, it's gonna dart, it's gonna look like a real crawdad down there. This little tiny 16th ounce jig head's a little bit harder to cast, but man, it makes a great Ned head. It's very light, so it gives the bait a lot of lifelike action under the water. I'm just taking it, I'm casting on my little six pound line here, and I'm getting a bite. Oh, I got him. But I'm just pulling it right back to me. It just looks so lifelike down there, they can't handle it. We've caught a lot of fish with these baits in this kit, but I don't think we've caught any more than this little GLF stealth ball head with this snack crawl. This is an excellent combination. All I can say, guys, is this Bang Creek kit is very special. You need to get out there, even though it's cold, and catch some fish.